hi guys in this video i will uh, discuss about the antigen antibody interaction and in this video i will cover with uh, introductions of antigen antibody reaction salient features strains uh, properties and types of uh, antigen antibody reactions also i will discuss applications of antigen antibody reaction the antigen antibody combines specifically with each other uh, and this interactions between them is called antigen antibody reaction and this form the basis of humoral immunity or antibody mediated immunity the reactions form the basis for the detections of infectious disease causing agents and also some specific antigens like enzyme and when antigen antibody reactions occur uh, in in vitro they are also known as serological reaction and the study of antigen antibody reaction is uh, in in vitro uh, called serology uh, and the reactions between antigen antibody in three stages in first stage the reaction involve formation of antigen antibody complex and the second stage leads to visible events like precipitation reactions agglutinations and all other reactions and the third stage includes destructions of antigen or its neutralization now i am discuss uh, about the uh, salient features of antigen antibody interaction and are as follows uh, like uh, specificity of antigen antibody interactions immunocomplex binding site of antigen antibody interactions binding force of antigen antibody interaction and these are the salient features of antigen antibody interactions now i am talk about the specificity of antigen antibody interactions and what uh, what do you mean by specificity specificity refers to the ability of an individual antibody combining site to react with only one antigenic determinant or the ability of a populations of antibody to react with only one antigen for example suppose the antibody produced against kidney antigen will react with only kidney antigen similarly uh, if uh, antibody produce again lens antigen will react only with lens antigen uh, and the specificity uh, if you define or if you un uh, understand uh, a standard law can be opened by its own key only as one antibody can react with its own antigen and another point another uh, salient features is immunocomplex antigen antibody complex an immunocomplex is formed from the integral binding of an antibody to a soluble antigen and the binding uh, of antigen acting as a specific epitope and bound to an antibody and is referred to as singular immunocomplex and the mechanism of antigen antibody interaction leading to inflammation uh, antigen antibody immunocomplex formations result in complement activations opsonizations of target cell assembly of membrane attack complexes and release of complement activators for chemotactics and fc receptor mediated cell activations triggers cellular response such as phagocytosis and uh, antibody dependent cellular cytotoxicity uh, which generally called adcc and uh, relax of uh, inflammatory mediator and immunocomplex also depends uh, on the antigen to antibody ratio and the ratio between the antigen and antibody influence the detections of antigen antibody complexes because the size of complexes formed is related to the concentration of the antigen and antibody and uh, uh, maybe antibody excesses uh, when the antibody excess the complexes uh, will be small and when antigen excess 
then also complexes will be formed as small. But if uh, the antibody and antigen are equivalent number present, then the complexes are, um, make a large antigen antibody complex. Another salience which is, is a binding site of antigen antibody reaction. In antigen antibody reaction, the antibody attached with the antigen and, uh, and the part of antigen which combines with antibody is called epitope, also known as antigenic determinant and is the part of an antigen that is recognized by the immunosystem, specifically by antibodies. B cells or T cells and the part of an antibody that recognizes epitope this is called paratope or combining site. And another uh, salient feature is binding force of antigen antibody reaction. The binding between antigen and antibody in uh, antigen antibody reaction is due to three factors mainly. Uh, one uh, closeness between antigen and antibody, another one uh, non-covalent bonds or intermolecular forces and the affinity of antibody. Uh, and uh, what's about closeness between antigen and antibody? When antigen and antibody are closely fit to strength the, of binding is great when their upper binding strength low. And non-covalent bonds, that bonds that hold the antigen to the antibody combining site are all non-covalent. Uh, and this include uh, hydrogen bonds, electrostatic bond, van der Waals bonds or van der Waals forts and hydrophobic bonds. An affinity of antibody is the strength of the reaction between a single antigenic determinant and a single combining on the antibody. Uh, previously, I show the paratope and epitope. Epitope means antigenic determinant and paratope means combining site. And strength of antigen antibody reaction, the non-covalent interaction that form the basis of antigen antibody binding, including hydrogen bond, ionic bond, hydrophobic interaction and van der Waals interaction and a strong antigen antibody interaction depends on a very close fit between the antigen and antibody which requires high degree of specificity. Now I discuss some properties of antigen antibody reaction and the properties of antigen antibody uh, can be explained with the help of three points and they are antibody affinity, antibody avidity and cross reaction. So, I am now uh, talking about the affinity. What is affinity? Affinity means the interaction between antigen and antibody involve non-covalent binding of an antigenic determinant which is generally called epitope to the variable region. Uh, another name of variable region uh, that is uh, a complementary determining region CDR. Uh, of the both heavy and light immunoglobulin chains and these interactions are analogous to those observed in uh, enzyme substrate interactions and they can be defined similarly and to describe the strength of the antigen antibody interaction and one can define the anti affinity uh, constant which is generally uh, k so antigen and antibody when it reacts it forms antigen antibody complex so affinity which is generally k defines k ab concentration of abag complex by concentration of ab antibody and concentration of ag this is the affinity. Now I am talking about the avidity. What is the avidity? Avidity, it is the strength of bound after the formation of antigen antibody complexes. 
and it is used to denote the overall capacity of antibody to combine with the multivalent antigen. And a multivalent antigen has many types of antigenic determinants. Antigenic determinants means epitope portion. When injected your blood and each antigenic determinant stimulates the productions of a particular antibody and the various antibody produced by a single antigen combined with the different antigenic of the uh, antigenic determinants of the an, uh, antigen so in ab plus plus m ag is form abn AGM where NAB is number of antibodies and MAG is the number of antigenic determinants and so uh, affinity is the strength with uh, which a monovalent antigen interacts with a binding side whereas Ability is the strength of antigen antibody binding when multiple epitopes of an antigen interact with multiple binding sites of an antibody. And this is the difference between affinity and avidity. And uh, another uh, properties of antigen antibody reaction is cross reaction. An antiserum raised against an antigen can also react with a similar antigen of another type and this is called cross reaction and the antigen which produces the cross reaction is called cross reactive antigen but the strength of antibody raised again is own antigen is strong. And so uh, cross reactivity although antigen antibody reaction is very specific sometimes antibody elicited by one antigen can cross react with an unrelated antigen and immunologic uh, reaction is uh, which a particular antibody or T cell receptor react with two or more antigen that possess a common epitope and this is uh, called the cross reaction uh, so cross reactivity refers to the ability of an individual antibody binding site to react with more than one antigenic determinant or the ability of populations of antibody molecules to react with more than one antigen. So cross reactions arises because the cross reacting antigen shares an epitope in common with immunizing antigen or, uh, or because another uh, point is it has an epitope which is structurally similar to one on the immunizing antigen and this is called the multi-specificity and the bonds involved in cross reaction are very weak and example the serum uh, raised against albumin of, of hen's eggs can cross react with albumin obtained from dark eggs and the antiserum uh, raised against human insulin will react with the insulin of peak sheep etc and the antiserum raised against uh, pneumococcal polysaccharide will react with uh, Isteria coli uh, blood group A and collagen antigens and now I am talk about some types of antigen antibody reaction like precipitation reactions agglutination reactions complement fixations ELISA that is enzyme link immunosorbent assay and immunofluorence and these all are the types of antigen antibody reactions and what is the purposes of antigen antibody reaction it helps in diagnosis of infections epidemiological surveys and identifications of infections and non-infectious antigen and hope this video will help to understand uh, between the affinity and avidity uh, what is the cross reactivity that is the properties of the antigen antibody reaction 